my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking part in Charlie, uh, Seen Up Better Beauties, Instagram challenge, the Singles Cruise Challenge. And the whole point of this is to pull out your single shadows and create a look with the shadow that you choose based on images that Charlie selects. And this time around, it's Ireland, which obviously we just had St. Patrick's Day, so that fits really well with the month of March. And I'm going to pop up a picture here that I chose to base my look on from pictures that Charlie pulled in for this challenge. Really fun. Now, this is my third time taking part in this challenge. The first time, I totally screwed it up because I didn't use any singles. I just pulled out the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette created my look and then went, wait a second, I was supposed to have a singles in here <laughs> or a single shadow in here. Didn't do that. Second time around, it was Bora Bora and I did use singles. I remembered to do that. And this time around, I've remembered to use singles as well. Now, what am I going to be using? Let me show you. Hold on to your socks because they might be blown off when I show you this. I'm going to be using this beauty from VIP Glitz and Glam, which is a U.S. indie brand that I discovered through a friend of mine on Instagram named Stacy. This is the shade Emerald Secret. Now, I swatched this, I think, or maybe I think I did pop this over my lids when I did my um, eyelid swatching video over the top of different bases, but that's the only time I've ever used this. Although, I did I? It kind of does look like it's been used, but maybe I just swatched it. I don't know, but I'm super excited to put this on my lids. I think it matches with the greens that are in that image. <gasps> now, for the mattes, th this is where it's it was a little tricky, and I'm going to be using a couple different things and also another shimmer shade. But I really wanted to use this palette. This is the Wealthy Chic from Colored Rain because this has beautiful greens in here. <gasps> mattes, mostly mattes, and two shimmers. Uh, I think I'm not going to use this one this time, but I think I will use that one either towards the front of the lid or in my inner corner. I might use all, I might use both the shimmers. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I felt like these mattes would really work well with the image that uh, Charlie chose or that I chose that Charlie grabbed. I don't know you want to say it. And then I also can see blue in that picture as well. And there's no blue in the Wealthy Chic palette. So I am going to grab this again. This is the Certify the Tropicals Wonders palette. And I think what I'll do is put Atlantic and Coast on my lower lash lines. So, you know, green lid with blue lower lash lines, right? I mean, come on, let's have some fun, right? <laughs> if this is my idea of having fun, I need to get out more. So I am going to go prime my eyelid, this eyelid, in the P. Louise Eyeshadow Base in Rumor A1, because uh, I forgot to do that before I started filming and both of my brows are done. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyelid is primed, and I think what I'll do, of course, is start off by going into this palette, the Wealthy Chic from Colored Rain. I got this. I, I've talked about this before. I got this palette a while back in a set of palettes from Colored Rain for a giveaway, and I love green eyeshadows so much that I thought, okay, at some point I'm going to have to get this palette because I kind of was like, should I keep it for myself? Like, don't be a greedy jerk. Uh, but this was on sale for $6.40. So I was like, okay, it's mine. I have to have it. So I can't read the shades. So let uh, let grandma get her glasses on. Okay. And I think what I'll do is start off with, oh, I don't know, man. This is going to be tough. I really want to use this because I do feel like there's like, well, this isn't really brown or tan, but the castle color, you know, <laughs> loosely based on, <laughs> this is called Cash Me Outside. Okay. And that's going to go in my transition area first and foremost. Let me get my hair. Um, I'm actually filming after work today because my husband's work sh uh, shift changed. And so I have some free time tonight. And so I thought, why don't I film? Uh, let's see. I think I'll use this brush here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I am I love it because, you know, sometimes in the morning I'm a little tired. And I'm like, I don't know that I want to film. I do film anyway, but... Well, not always. Sometimes I'm too tired to film. Okay, this is going right here. And I, you know, sometimes I will hear people in videos say, you know, I'm so tired and, or I have a massive headache or I'm starving, but I got to get this video filmed. And I'm thinking, but you don't got to get the video filmed. You can go take care of yourself. You know, you can take care of your mental health off camera, you know, and not film a video, I think. I mean, 
I don't know. I just think we get so wrapped up in doing, 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 doing that we tend to neglect our own mental health, our own well-being for that. And, you know, I think the, the fortunate thing for me in terms of my YouTube channel is that this is not my job. This is just a fun thing. So I don't ever feel like pressured to film something. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I do just because I really want to get it up on my channel so you guys can see it, you know. But I still think if you're sitting in a video telling your viewers that you're too tired or too hungry or you have a headache, don't film, you know. I just am always like, yikes, that's, that's a little intense. Why don't you just go take care of yourself and then when you're feeling better or not so tired, not so hungry, not so headachey, then film a video. But hey. I don't know. Some, sometimes, uh, so sometimes I do think people say things like that for sympathy. <laughs> Maybe not. They or they want the attention for it. Like, oh, you're such, you're so dedicated that you're filming a video when you feel like absolute crap. Like, yeah, but that's not healthy. <laughs> that's not a healthy thing. So I don't know. I just I'm glad that I you know have that restraint to just take care of myself. And I think I will be taking a week off of filming here. Uh, not that I need to tell you guys that. Th that's another thing too. I will have seen bigger creators like come on and say, I'm going to take two weeks off because I'm just, it's like, then just take the two weeks off. You know, I don't think anybody needs an explanation. It's your life. Go take the two. I don't know. Maybe it, that's not that big a deal. But to me, I'm like, I just always feel like that's really sad that you have to like explain yourself to people. But here I am telling you guys I might take a week off. So I'm just telling you just because I'm just talking, you know, not, I don't feel like I have to tell you that. And this is beautiful. It's like a really nice pea green. And I feel like it's blending quite well. Yes. Okay. So now I think, of course, I want to deepen this up. And I know before anybody says anything, I know I've done a ton of green looks lately. I know. But it's, you know, that time of year. It's March. St. Patrick's Day, I like greens. <laughs> Just let me live in my green fantasy land, okay? Oh, Grandma's got to get her glasses back on. Hold on. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Okay, now I want to go into this shade. This is called Currency and put that in my crease. Oh, ripping all my hair out. In my crease. Okay. And I'm real goofy after work. <laughs> You're like, no kidding, Erica. Because <laughs> I've, you know, just ate dinner and... I don't know. I just get a little goofy in the evenings. My husband actually, as he was recovering from surgery, was watching the show The Office. And we have most of the seasons on DVD, but we didn't have all of them. Because, you know, my kids have taken seasons with them. Uh, one of the seasons had like, I think season five, like the case of it had like, Three discs of season five, two discs of season three were like, so I just went online. I went onto Amazon, onto the Zon, as Janny calls it. And I was like, okay, I got to get all the seasons and all the discs. So they had a great deal. There's nine seasons. They had all nine seasons, every single episode on Amazon for 41 bucks. I'm like, I'm getting it. Sold. I'm getting it. So I got it. And we ended up watching... Well, he was watching a lot of it while I was at work, so I missed some of the episodes. But, I mean, I have seen The Office so many times, you would not believe. I've seen the whole thing probably maybe six times because my kids were super into it, and it used to be on Netflix. I'm going to go back and let this just blend out a little bit better. So, yeah, I mean, I've seen them a million times. But my husband had never seen the whole thing from beginning to end. And there were times when I would come home from work, you know, we'd have dinner together and continue to watch The Office... And I would laugh so hard that I would almost throw up. I'm not kidding. I was like sobbing. <laughs> it's just such a funny show. I have never seen the British version, the UK version of The Office. Oh, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but never like a full episode or a full season of that. So if you, if any of you guys have watched that uh, side of things, let me know and let me know if you think it's worth watching. I don't know where to find that. I probably could find that on the Am on Amazon too, the Zon as well. But man, we had a blast watching The Office, laughing hysterically. 
And my husband is not somebody who, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that back. He's not someone who like loses his poo over shows really. I mean, sometimes, but he even was like laughing hysterically over certain parts of that show. It was great. It was wonderful. I loved it. Very bonding for us. It really was. And you know, we just, we really like Pam and Jim and Michael though. Oh, sometimes he is so cringy and I just want to scream, shut up at him. Cause he's just such a jackass. And Dwight, Dwight is something else. So funny. Dwight's probably my fave, I think. Okay, I love that. That blended together very nicely. So now I'm going to go into this shade here, and this is called Grandma. Jeez, this is called Bank. What is it? Bank You Next. Bank You Next, I guess. <laughs> How do you say it? I don't know. That's going to go in my outer V, and I'm going to use my refer, refer, refer 14 brush to do that to put this in my outer V. I love this brush, it's so great. Yes. The 13 might be better for this particular spot of the lid, but you know what? I just grabbed the 14. I don't have time to second guess things, right? We're just going for it. We're just gonna go for it. Not we, I am just gonna go for it. There's no we here. I'm just doing this by myself, there's no we. No we, and this is extremely pigmented and it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I love having dark green mats. And you know, sometimes dark green mats can get a little patchy. I think most dark shades, especially dark purples, can get pretty patchy, but this is not patchy at all. There was a palette that Colored Rain released uh, what was it? The Vivid Pigment palette that I know people hated that palette. Hated it. Do, do either, do any of you, do either of you, do any, there's only two people watching. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, do any of you have the Vivid Pigments palette? Just curious if you have that. I'm going to go back around with this brush, just blend that a little bit. And did you hate it? Do you hate it? Because that was on sale uh, when I went on the site and got this palette, I thought, ooh, maybe I should try to get that. And then I thought, yeah, but everybody hated it. Like, I didn't see anyone that got that palette that liked it. You know, everyone's like, this sucks. It's horrible. It's so horribly pigmented and it doesn't blend and it's patchy. And I was like, okay. You know, and the people that I watch say that are, you know, trustworthy and I believe their assessment of it. You know, like if it's crap, they're going to tell you the truth. I'm not just going to say it's crap just to say it's crap and be contrary like some people are. But uh, no, I believe that they really were being honest about the fact that it was crap. So I don't know. That's a bummer because it was it's beautiful. It's like a rainbow palette. And I think, are they pressed pigments? I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to go back into the shade. Blend that too. And, you know, I try not just to get things just to get stuff. But I have done that before for sure. Oh, why not? I'll get that too. You know, that type of thing. But I didn't do that this time around. It's got things that I felt like I really wanted to get. Not just to get, but that I wanted, you know. Does that make sense? Probably not. I think that looks absolutely amazing. So now let's go into this beautiful shimmer, Emerald Secret from VIP Glitz and Glam. <whistles> okay, so I think what I'll do is use my trusty Refer 02 brush that Jenny sent me to apply this. And it's just absolutely spectacular. Look at that, I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I have heard, people have told me, don't spray multi-chromes. I'm gonna spray it. Cause I mean, is it multi-chrome or is it more duochrome? I don't know. Let's just put it on the lid. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord, look at that. And you know what? I'm not gonna use the other sing the shimmers out of that palette. I don't need to. I'm gonna use this all the way across the lid. There's no need to use anything else but this. Holy cow. If this is not a green look, baby, I don't know what is. Absolutely stunning. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love it. I'm so happy I found this brand. 
uh, I had just started following Stacy, or yeah, we, following each, each other on Instagram. And I saw her posting pictures of looks she had done with singles from this brand. And I'm like, okay, spill the beans, sister. What's the deal with this brand? I got to know all about it. So she's like, yeah, it's VIP, VIP, VIP Glitz and Glam. They do have a page on Instagram. They have an Etsy shop. I've been using their singles for a while. They're amazing. So go check them out. I'm like, okay. And I did. And I've got several singles from the brand. Um, and I've done videos with all of them. Well, I mean, you know, showing all of them anyway. Let me show you if I can get this open. These shades right here, right here, these ones, two, four, six, seven, and then are all from VIP Glitz and Glam. These three are from Ladybug Glow. And that I think is a Coastal Sense one that I just hung on to. But they're all really fun. And I have I think two videos showing these, so I'll link those videos in my description box. I'd link the card, the eye cards. I just I don't do all that jazz. So I'll just link the videos in my description box if you guys want to go check them out. They're really, really, I think they're great videos because it shows how awesome these shades are. And what I did was I used them over the top of like, what, a white base and a black base, I think is what I did. Uh... I don't know if I did that with all of them, but I think so. And of course, I blew that shimmer way up too high, so hang tight and let me go back in with this brush and just kind of spiff that up just a little bit. It's, you know, my eyes are just so damn hooded that it's gonna do that anyway, but I try to like not blow it up immediately from the word jump. I just kind of try to slowly, slowly get it up there, I guess. I don't know. So I'm gonna go around with that darker green matte and just kind of smooth that out a little bit and then smooth out the corner here of that shimmer shade so it's not quite so like eh. that's the technical word for it eh. and you know I realize I'm not necessarily incorporating all of the colors that are in the image I chose but you know who cares look at that shimmer what difference does it make right <laughs> so now I'm going to go back around with this brush nothing additional on it and just blend out that darker green matte and now I'm going to go back into this shade here, the shape, and then just add a little bit of this, and then I'm done, I think. And then I'll put the blues on my lower lash lines off camera. But I think I will use that kind of brightish, uh, this shimmer here. Oops. Oh, that's all I need to do is drop this on the floor. <laughs> God, that gave me an adrenaline rush. I'm going to put this shade right here in my inner corners, because I think that would look really cool. So I am basically done. Those mattes blended beautifully. The shimmer is stunning. So I'm gonna go off camera, do my lower lash lines, my other eye, my face. I'll probably just leave my hair like this, and I will come back. So this is the finished look, and I had so much fun putting this look together, and so fun to take part in another one of Charlie's challenges on Instagram. And I meant to mention this at the very beginning. I will link Charlie's YouTube channel, Seen Up Better Beauty, and also her Instagram account or page in my description box. Please go and subscribe and follow her. She is absolutely amazing and super fun. And I'm so happy that she and I have become friends, are getting to know each other better. We've done two collabs so far on YouTube. We've done a Davina singles collab on Instagram. I'm taking part in her challenges, which I hope she continues to do these because they're so much fun. So happy that I remembered to pull a single eyeshadow in for this challenge. And I really do hope that she and I will continue to do more uh, collabs on YouTube or Instagram or both. She's just awesome. So, okay, I'm going to show you the palette again and ooh and ah over it because I love it. So happy I used it and I love the single that I used for this look today. But let me show you some fun things I threw on my face for this finished look. On my lips, I started off with this from Handan. This is a liquid lipstick in the shade green. Uh, I think I actually did buy this off the Timu site. I don't think this came in PR. But, you know, I just, this is a little bit bluey green. And I thought, Let, let's make it a little bit more green, like my eyelids, you know. So I grabbed a multi-chrome lip gloss from Ladybug Glow in the shade number one. And this has like blue and green and pink in it. I don't know how well you can see the pink and blue, but I can see it right now. 
maybe even a little bit of lavender. But putting it over the top of this, you can really see the green in it. And how fun, because I think it really matches my, the eyeshadow that I have on my lids today, that single. <gasps> so beautiful. I wanted to do something kind of fun with my upper lid liner, so I did grab a liquid liner from Queen Nubia Cosmetics in the shade Blue. Now, this is older. I've had this in my collection for a while, and I just didn't give it nearly enough love. So the brush is a little wonky just because it's an older liquid liner. So it did take me a hot minute to get it even on both lids, but I, I got it there and I really like this product. I just kind of forgot. It kind of got buried in my tub of eyeliners, but uh, I will say that this does dry down quickly and it stays put. It doesn't chip or flake or do anything crazy, which I love that about this liner. Then for my lower water lines, I did use a NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Emerald Cut. Of course, thought the green would look good. Uh, let's see, for my mascara, I use the uh, Color Popped, Color Pop, not Color Popped, Act Natural Defining Mascara. I love this. So now let's talk about the eyeshadows. First off, let's start with the single that I used, Emerald Secret from VIP Glitz and Glam. I'll link their Etsy shop in my description box also. This is such a beautiful shimmer shade, very dynamic, very uh, flippy. You know, it's got that real true green, kind of Kelly green, and then it goes to that gold, almost like even like an orangey gold in there too. So fun and so opaque, so easy to apply, just whammo, I love it. And now let's talk about the Colored Rain Wealthy Chic Palette. This is gorgeous, really beautiful. I did pop this shimmer in my inner corners, very pretty goldy green shade. And I feel like the mattes in here performed beautifully. Pigmented, blendable, it looks awesome. I really think it looks awesome. Really happy that I picked this up. I know I have a ton of green palettes in my collection. I realized that when I did my uh, palettes for St. Patrick's Day, I'm like, holy crap, I got a lot of green palettes. But this, I will say, I mean, after one use and how well the mattes performed, I mean, obviously I didn't use that. I didn't use this shade or this shade, but I mean, you know, it's, I think it's pretty obvious that all the shades in here are going to work well, this one and that one too, if all the other ones work so good. So yeah, this, I don't know, is this my favorite green palette? <laughs> I mean, I should use it more than just once before I make that bold assumption, but it's pretty damn good. Oh, also, let's talk about this palette. I use this too. This is the Certified the Tropical Wonders palette. Whoopsie, got too excited about the other stuff and forgot this. I did use Coast across both lower lash lines, and I just deepened it up a little bit with Atlantic and just kind of mushed them together. And I really think the blue looks cool on my lower lash lines, especially with the blue liner on my upper lids. And th this is just a staple all matte palette in my collection that I'm thrilled to have, thrilled that Steph sent me this from the UK. I love it. So let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you think that I stuck to the colors of the image that I chose of Ireland. Uh, let me know what you think of this lippy. It's pretty, pretty wild, pretty out there. Uh, I'm glad I'm filming this at night and I'm not going to work because this would make me feel a little bit uncomfortable at work. But I do think it looks so cool. I love it. I wish I had some place to like go out and party right now, but I don't. I'll just be hanging out with the cats, reading my true crime book. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye! Drop it.